Hi, Steve from Steve Chew Mechanical Art. Um, gear cutting on a small mill my way. Remember, this is my way. Um, anyway, so here we go. Now we need to cut the gear. I've machined the blank. The blanks there. Done that in the lathe. That's 50 mil ready to cut. 48 teeth. I don't. I, this isn't a proper arbor like you you can get, but this is pressed onto here, and it's pretty tight. It's just my way of doing it. I suppose I could buy an arbor, but there you go. Anyway, gear cutters. How do we cut the gear? These are gear cutters, the loop gear cutters. Each one does. You have to have a certain. You have to have a set because they only cut. A certain amount of teeth like this one will do 14 to 16 teeth this will do 26 to 34 there's normally a set of six in a set and then you'll get one that cuts from that will be like up 235 or whatever but anyway so we put our, this is one I want I think this is a number three this cuts from 35 to 54 so we want a 48 so That'll do that. So I'm going to put this in the machine. We'll put it in the mill. And then we'll set the mill up. And then we'll cut a gear. Right. So we've got that. Dead in the centre of the gear now. Sorry about the light. Not very good at this. That's dead in the centre. Of the arbor and the gear. Ready to cut. So now what we're going to do. Is we've got to get the cutter is going to come across, bring it, bring it to the blank and just as it touches we'll set, there you go that's better, just as that starts to touch we can then set the depth which we want to cut in two six. So I'm going to do that now because I can't hold the camera at the same time. I'm just going to bring that forward. Until it touches and then I'll zero it out and then bring it in 2.16 mil was a tooth depth so then I'll zero that out and bring it in 2.16 my camera works shocking okay we're gonna cut the gear we've now pulled the cutter forward of the face in 2.16 which is a depth of the cut we're on the dividing head number 16 because we want one full turn and 14 sixteenths I'll show you that in a minute so we're ready to cut right let's cut for let's first start cutting turn the mill on might be a bit noisy That's right the way through. Bring it back. And we'll stop it so you can hear me. There's a lockdowns on your table as well. And you need to lock it down every time you cut. And then release it. Just to keep it stiff. Right. Here we go. So, I'm going to do like this. I need two hands so we go we've got to go one to full turn to there and then we've got to go round to the back side of here where my finger is and that's a full turn and 14 sixteenths so I'm going to do that 
Can I say? You see me doing that? I'll put the camera here. So you could see. Right. So that's that's my gauge set. So I go one full turn, and I need fourteen sixteenths. I'm in the sixteenth hole. The 16th hole is at the back of the marker, the whole one's at the front, and that's 14 sixteenths. Oh dear, went for a fall then. Tying it off, turn the machine on, and put another two. Proceeded to do that. I I can't hold the camera at the same time because I just haven't got any kit to do it. So we've done another turn and another 14 16 So now we can cut another tooth. This is I'm just going to show you cutting a couple of these. You can see them teeth coming there now. What I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the I'm going to carry on. So now we've got two teeth up. You see that? That's and then same again. We've got to do another turn. Move that round to there. I'll do another turn and a sixteen. And then I'm gonna finish cutting the teeth. And I'll show you when we're coming up to the end. Right, we're nearly there. I'm going to show you. Cutting the last few gears now. Cutting speed is as fast as it'll go in low because that's bossed. Pull the gear into the cutter. At that cutting, at that feed speed, which is. About that. Once it's cleared, you hear it clear, go back, let it clear the blade again, ease off, unloosen, get the marker, one turn, 14 in the back, lock off. Nice steady. Feel it. Feels like it's nice and back. Fast as you can go. One. Lock off. And this is the last cut, I think. There you go. 48 times. And we now have a nice gear. I'll get that off now. Clean it up. We'll take it off and we'll have a look at it. Bronze that is, by the way, because I've got I bought some bronze the other day. I like the look of it, so that's 
and I've never done matte bronze so I thought why not we'll knock it off I'll put it in the lathe now and just give that a bit of a chamfer there let's lathe up lathe chamfer I'll do that and then we'll have a look so take it off this arbor and have a look at it I've just cleaned it up a bit on that lathe I told you it was tight. So there you have it. There it is. Nice little shiny gear. 48 tooth. Should be 50 mil overall. Oh, no. 50 mil. Oh. 49.97. Sorry. Let's bring it to view. There you go. 49.97 let's try this one I never know which one to believe when I've got the oh yeah so there we have that's how you to cut that's how I cut my gears on my little mill over there once you set up, it doesn't take you that long. If you were to buy, I could probably make that. I could probably make three or four of them in a night. And if I was to buy them, they'd probably be best part of 20 quid, I bet, out of bronze like that. And I paid £44 pound for 40, there you go, 44 quid for a bar about, I don't know, probably about, how long was it? Yeah, about six inches long. So I get a few out of that. And gives me something to do, doesn't it? So I hope you enjoyed my videos. And my superb camera work. Of course I know it is uh, second to none. And uh, I'll try not... I won't do many more of these. Put you through any more pain. And uh, I'll see you in a bit.